Hey there. What's up, guys? We are at... Uh, La Calle Taqueria y Carnitas. And the, yeah, you tricked, we got us. This is our first video, so yeah, we did go eat because we were hungry. Um, but now we're introducing you to the place. You're welcome. This is it, you can't miss it. And uh, yeah, keep Watch watching the video. Tacos. Yeah, thanks. My name's Will Story. I'm Kelsey, Knight. So, um, you know, we both love tacos and we love the Denver metro area. So we're gonna start doing a weekly Taco Tuesday. Yep. Is it weekly? Sure, yeah, maybe, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but. like this and uh, share it and comment and then we'll see if there's another one. Exactly. There you go. But the whole idea is, you know, out there there's a lot of taquerias and they have different things. So we want to give you a little review of them, let you know what they are. And, you know, sometimes we'll get really adventurous. So if you have any suggestions for the next place, put it in the comments and we may try that one out. For sure. If you want me to try something really funky, I'm more than happy to. Just let me know where to go. So whether it's tongue, ear, whatever, we could go there, right? Eyeball. They make eyeball tacos. Eyeball tacos? Yeah, I won't try that, but they make them. Can you see the eyeball still? I hope not. Because That's it'll look not... at you when you eat it? I don't know. I don't know about I that. I don't think so. I think oh. it's chopped up. It's like a jello. It's like, like a, a jello jelly, taco. Like a jelly, ooh, a jello taco, but a not jello. You know. So today we're trying uh, a few different ones. I've got pastor tacos. I have adobo, or no, asada. And uh, lastly, I have these carnita ones and they look delicious. And the carnitas are in the name, so it's gotta be a good one, right? Yep. Also came because they have uh, the Al Pastor like spit. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it should be good. It looks legit, so. Absolutely. Also on Google, they said that these tacos are pretty much straight out of uh, Tijuana, so. Straight out of Tijuana, so we may get sick or we might feel great, I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, you know? As long as it tastes good, I don't care, it's worth it. So Kelsey, I don't know this about you. Are you. When it comes to spicy, what do you do? All the way. Like, all the way? Yeah. Like my boyfriend is from Mexico and I outspice him all the time. Gotcha. He's a wimp. I should have been probably born into a Mexican family if we're being honest. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I like a little bit of heat, but not so much that my mouth is burning afterwards. So I want the uh, the different mild ones here. I do love the onion and cilantro and the radish on it. Gives you a nice crunch I like now. The radish, yeah. And then, uh, what are you drinking in celebration of I trying got, out some taco Yeah, tuesday? I got the piña, the pineapple juice. Nice. I went with horchata, a delicious, delicious one from Mexico. So good. And you don't know horchata, sometimes they call it rice water. Just depends. It's good stuff, though. So what are you going to try first? I'm going to go all pastor first, because I got two of those. Well, you know, I did too. Yep. I also got a, um, a goat's meat. Don't know what that means. Goat's meat? Nice. Yep. And I also just put a lot of spicy on this. So. Mm. That's some good stuff. That's really good. That's really good freaking mm -hmm. stuff. So. That's delicious. You were in Mexico not that mm -hmm. long ago. When you were there, did you try some tacos? Oh yeah. Did you try any pastor? Oh yeah. It Where's this perfect. ranking? Are we in Mexico? It's hard because like every time I have a taco, I'm like, this is good. This is it. This is all I want. So it's pretty good though. Like I wouldn't be surprised if I was eating this in Mexico. What do you think? Well, you know, at the end of the day, I can tell you, I've been, <clears throat> I've been to Mexico and I've gone off the resorts and mm -hmm. tried the actual real tacos. That pastor is phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, it's got the nice pineapple sweetness. You got the nice marination in the pork. I'm loving that one. Quite I like the a bit. texture too. I think they could have added like a little bit more meat, but I'm also kind of like a badass. So. You like you like a lot of meat. Yeah, I like a lot. Of meat. I mean, who doesn't? You know, mm, it's better that way. And the tortillas are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll tell you guys this: if you like horchata, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. God, I do love my horchata. Well, I'm gonna go adventurous. This one over here. Carnitas when it said pork stomach, which I always thought carnitas was pork shoulder. When I made carnitas at home, I've always used a big piece of pork shoulder, and I don't know. I suppose it's more traditional to use pork yeah, stomach. So, hey, why not from the pork stomach to my stomach? I think the <laughs> I think the I think carnitas is just like a cluster of all the things. So maybe they just do the average and say it's stomach. A little bit of butt, a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of head. Some scraps here and there. A little bit of cheek. Well, I can tell you this, it tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. The flavor is incredible. Mm -hmm. Are you eating carnitas too? Or is that mm -hmm. your goat? Yep, nope, that was my carnitas. The carnitas? Yeah. 
That's good. That's I super will, good. Yeah, I will say my mom used to make carnitas growing up all the time. And mom, this is going to give you a run for your money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch this. Is that the goat talk? I'm going goat. Going goat. It's the goat. Isn't that what the cool kids say when they're talking about something that's cool? The goat? I no, I don't think so. Mm. Is that what the cool kids say now? I think so. Maybe like, it might have been like the cool kids like a couple years ago. I have they said it's the goat? Yeah, like Does anyone know if they the call goat. it the goat? No, the goat is the greatest of all time. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, so you've probably heard a reference to Tom Brady. They call him the goat because he's the, you do not know who Tom Brady is. I know who Tom Brady is. Oh, okay. Super Bowl, tomorrow, Wednesday, Sunday. Um, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, 4.30. Yeah, so goat, I've always referred to as the greatest of all time. Got it. I guess you could call a taco the goat. I'm about to find out. It is literally goat. Let's see if it's metaphorically the goat. <laughs> oh, Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Really? I was a little skeptical. I'm like, goat? I don't know. Would you goat it again? I don't know if I'd goat it again. I might goat like the carnitas before I goated the goat. Yeah. Let's give the asada a try. Asada is a lovely one. Mm -hmm. And it came down to asada, carnitas, or pastor. Mm -hmm. I'd have to go pastor. Really? That's where I'm at with these so good. far. Okay, that orange sauce is kicking my butt though. Yeah. Like it got me. Pretty good. You crying? Uh, you crying a little bit? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see it. Okay. Okay. Did you your mouth good? Yeah, I'm like calm down. I'm going back to the asada. I'll let you know. Hang on to you. What is this in your asada scale? What? No? No. I also like my asada like way overdone probably. Like almost crispy. So. Really? Yeah, I love it. So you know I have a three-year-old, right? Right. So with a three-year-old, it's awesome. You know what they do when they have the chewy bite? They put it in your hand. <laughs> they go, Ugh, and you're like, what do I do with this? Mm. Now I'm going to give you a confession. And if anyone's made it this far to the video, they're going to hear this. It's super embarrassing as the truth. I was with my son and we're at the Denver Art Museum. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he got it, but he had some food in his mouth somehow. And he spits it out in my hand. And I looked around, and there's no trash can. I ate it. You ate it? Oh, no! That's a, you don't know where he got it? I don't know what it was. Oh, that's disgusting. It, I, I couldn't throw it on the floor. Put it in your pocket. I didn't want to, like, carry it around. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I just than eating it. it. I'm oh not totally God. sure. I think it was, like, a snack from the car. Oh, like, he, like, chipmunked it on the side of his mouth, maybe, and, like, was carrying it with him. That's hilarious. I'm not totally sure, but... When True looked at me and, and I go, what's in your mouth? And he just looked in my hand. I looked around and, <laughs> hey, I know you parents out there have That's done this. Hilarious. Like, it's not that weird. It's mm. only weird if you don't have a kid. Well, guys, we hope you really enjoyed this first kind of an exploration to food with Kelsey and Will. Um, we plan on doing more. Scale of one to 10 though. Scale of one to 10, where would I put Scale this? Scale of like Taco Bell to like Tijuana. Taco Bell to Tijuana, I Tijuana like that. Tijuana truck stop. So Taco, Taco Bell one. to Tijuana, no, no, Taco Bell to Tijuana Taco Truck. All right, so Tijuana Taco Truck to 10, Taco Bell's a one. Sure. I'm putting this at a six. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Good, you know, if I'm, if I'm hungry, yeah. I want to quick, get a quick lunch, it's good. Yeah, for sure. But, it's you know, cheap, they're like two bucks a pound. That wasn't too bad, but it's a six, you know? It's yeah. better. We'll keep exploring and find some more. Yeah. So yes, please check it out. She tried the goat today, but yeah. I can tell you, Kelsey really wants to try something like liver or something weird like that so if you know a place with like something really odd let us know and yeah cool sounds good thanks bye